when you say a driver future, are we, and we're talking about extreme weather events, when we do have a rain event, is that going to lead to flooding or is that going to lead to a replenishment of the water table? That's a very good question. It, it can do both things. I mean, the, um, the, the projections for California, so it's interesting, the, the projections for southwestern North America as a whole, the best climate models are quite in agreement. They don't always agree on things, but in this case they agree that, that southwestern North America, which includes uh, you know, Arizona, New Mexico, uh, Nevada, as well as northern Mexico, is projected to get drier. The, as the climate warms. It's quite a, a confident projection and it's quite serious. California is slightly different and actually um, the, the climate is, has some different influences from the Pacific Ocean. And so the projections for California are that the, the, the rainy season, which is the winter, will actually get wetter, although shorter, a shorter rainy season uh, and, uh, and a hotter, drier summers. So what that means for water supply is not uh, not completely clear, but overall not encouraging because, of course, a lot of California's water supply comes from snowpack. So uh, if you have a, a wetter rainy season, you might hope it'd be more snowpack. Of course, if it's warmer, more of that's likely to fall as rain. So that's uh, water that California still gets but runs off more quickly and isn't stored over the summer um, as well. Some of it, of course, can be captured in reservoirs. Um, and uh, the overall rise in temperature means that more water that hits the ground ends up evaporating into the into the air. So overall, um, you know, there's some uncertainty as with all, all climate projections, but um, there's no reason to think that California, looking forward, doesn't have a need to uh, conserve water, as even in the present. I mean, the, the, the California, it's worth saying that the, Calif the current water system you have here wasn't really well designed, even without climate change, for the amount of population and water use and the historical climate that California faces. So a lot of the the changes, some of which are starting to happen under the current uh, state government, those are going to certainly be necessary in the future as well.